Hello everyone, we're back. This time we're going to talk about angle of attack indicator, why it's so useful and why it increases the safety by a big margin. First I'm going to show you some landings. You will see that there is no bouncing, no extra energy and also no sink. So I'm coming at the right speed. Let's see the 182, we're coming to ski jump, it's an uphill street. You see that I come at the right speed, no bouncing, although at the end I need to add a lot of power to climb the uphill towards the end of the street at the top. angle of attack indicator is not only for landings, it will give you accurate information for takeoffs like you can use VX, VY, for example this is Cabin Creek in Idaho, high density altitude. As soon as I see the lights for taking off, I lift off and stay in ground effect. So this is helpful so you can take off as soon as you have the right speed and the right lift at minimum speed. Then you can use also the angle of attack indicator to do a VX climb or a VY climb. All the information is there and it's accurate. This next strip is Campeche in Montana. High density altitude with big obstacles, tall trees at the end of the earth strip. For this, the angle of attack indicator is very useful to do a VX climb. So it takes away all the guessing and trying to make calculations on the run. Earth speed indicators are not reliable at high angle of attack. So right now it's showing about 45 and I'm doing 55. And on short final when I'm doing 43, it's showing less than 40. About 32 or 35. So for this kind of landing you cannot rely on them. Stall warning has been going off for a while so you don't know how much lift you have left. In this case the angle of attack indicator will show me exactly how much lift I got for these conditions, temperature and weight of the airplane. The stall warning is a good indicator but when you stall a uh, Sportsman stall kit and says no wing. I have found out that the stall warning goes off early, about 10 miles an hour, 8 miles an hour before the stall. So it doesn't allow you to get the most performance out of the stall kit unless you have a lot of time on these airplanes and you can just feel it. The angle of attack indicator helps compensate for that with an accurate indication of lift. This one you can see the lights reflecting on the windshield. The lights show about 1.2 VSO on short final and touching down 1.1, 1.0 VSO. Of course, that will only come this slow if there is no wind. Like here, we can look at the same landing from the view of the drone you see I come slow speed but no sinking no bouncing just smooth landing this also helps to reduce the wear and tear of the airplane by a lot now this is the CJ6 Nanshan I find the angle of attack indicator very useful for doing aerobatics like at the top of the loop it show you how much lift you have or during the aerial rolls, bar rolls, you're always seeing your angle of attack. This is a military airplane, it has no stall warning. Also very helpful for landings, for turning base. It adds a lot of safety to flying. Here I'm doing a tail chase with another Nanchan. 
also it will indicate you if you're going to go in an accelerator stall taking From off Wilson Bar in Idaho the Cessna 182 I lift off and stay on ground effect until I reach VY and then I start my climb this is high density altitude and the angle of attack indicator compensate for weight and temperature and also the density altitude this next maneuver is very important to fly in the back country places like Idaho actually it's done in Idaho it's a canyon turn you can see the hut over the glacier and pay attention to the airspeed indicator on the left side the top instrument check those two instruments during the whole maneuver for this maneuver I have 30 degrees of flaps and you will see I don't pull on the yoke let it drop if you don't pull on the yoke you will never stall the airplane it's the pilot who stalls the airplane an airplane never stalls by itself so we had plenty of lift during the whole maneuver this is a very challenging landing into a gravel bar this is dog leg Excuse the one is River in Washington State. You can see the airspeed indicator top left and the hut over the glare field, the angle of attack indicator. This one is tricky because I have to do a very sharp turn at very slow speed and at very low altitude. Of course, the stall warning is going on, but the reliability of the angle of attack attack indicator is very useful in this kind of landing now this is a view from the outside you can see I didn't sink or bounce on the landing just the right speed here is an explanation from the experts in place of one of your inspection hole covers and then there's tubing that goes to a computer that translates it into an angle of attack display and we even have a heads up display that you can look through or even be able to fold down and you, as your angle of attack increases, it just starts to run up. The blue donut tells you that you're at optimum angle of attack. If the angle of attack gets higher than that, it tells you to lower the nose. Back to the blue donut, or raise the nose, back to the blue donut. So you stay on the blue donut, especially if you're coming down final approach. And then as you flare to land, you will naturally go into the red chevron with higher angles of attack. As you touch down at a nice slow speed, and you will not have to use your brakes as much as you used to. So does this have audio? It does have audio. This one have, has five different selections of audio. This one that I selected for this unit it has the beeps, which is similar to what the F4s and the U2 guys use. And there are four others, that uh, two of which have voice, and the other two are tone paced. Thank you very much. You're very welcome, Mr. Fitzmaier. We learn to fly with the airspeed indicator and with the speeds dictated by the manual, which usually are at full growth. Every year, an aviation airplane is equipped with a stall warning, which is a great device. When I learned to fly, since the beginning, I knew I was going to fly in the back country, but there was no back country instructor in Costa Rica. So I bought an angle of attack indicator and I learned to fly the wing and get all the performance out of my airplane. There have been some accidents lately, very experienced pilots. One on a stall competition, he stalled spin because he was following a slower aircraft. Another very experienced pilot in an 86, he was following steermans on the pattern, slower than his airplane, and he also stalled spin. This is a very good instrument for safety. One of the advantages of having the heads up display is that you never have to look inside a cockpit when doing your approach. The display you have on the 182 is the Valkyrie. They don't make it anymore, it's about 10 years old. You will compare that it's more difficult to see for the video than the new ones. 
I have had it for more than 10 years and this system is maintenance free, no problems at all. Landing, turning base to final, you can see the lights, plenty of lift. I like to approach with two or three yellow bars, so that means when I'm flaring for the landing, it will be a blue light or just red lights. So there will be no floating or no sinking when I do the flare. I like to put the display of the angle of attack indicator upside down on my airplane. I like to see the red at the bottom. The way everybody does it and the instructions are to have the red at the top. Uh, that's good, but for me it was more intuitive to have the red at the bottom. So that worked for me, but I would say 90% of the people prefer the red at the top. You see this landing, no major drama, no sinking, no floating, coming slow at the right speed. This is why the angle of attack indicator is so useful. And as you can see, it's not only for backcountry flying. It will give you a lot more safety and accuracy. The Falcon display from Alpha Systems, you can see here the red lights are at the top. Just as a personal preference, I like them at the bottom. But at the top seems to work better for most people. This is an approach to land at Darrington Airport in Washington, 2400 feet long. And you will see I try to make a short landing. I will exit at the first intersection, which is at 1200 feet. Then you will see the landing, no floating, no sinking, and allows you to land slow at the right speed. The angle of attack indicator will give you VX, VY, best glide. So there's lots of functions. It's not only for landing, but you are doing your approach, your base to final third, and all that. You will always have the display in front of you, showing how much lift you got. interested in buying an angle of attack indicator from Alpha Systems, tell them you saw Bad Country 182 video and you will get $100 discount on your purchase. This is a tight takeoff from Marble Aerostrip in Idaho, high density altitude, loaded airplane. What I try to do is get on ground effect until VY then continue my climb. This one, the trees are very tall, so I try to go to the gap of the hill and the trees. Hope you guys enjoy, and if you want to have a talk about Angle of Attack Indicator or any questions, just send me an email to this email below, and I will be happy to help. Hope you can join on Patreon and support Backcountry182 channel. Thank you.